Hi everybody, welcome to day six of your home practice. Today we'll start hands and knees and you're gonna flip your wrists forward. So the thumbs are pointing to the sides of the room. So you're getting this nice wrist stretch. Really claw your fingers and then we'll cat and cow with your hands like this. So you'll inhale your heart forward and exhale, bow in. And I like to really lean back so I get really into the wrists. And then you just go a couple rounds, inhale the heart forward exhale as you bow in and take your time feel free to add a little side to side sway you can get a little more into the thumbs if you go side to side and then we'll go big chest circle so really wide with the hands bend the elbows out to the side as you drop your chest down and circle so inhale as you drop the chest down you kind of lift the chin Exhale as you round the back. You really want to think about squeezing your shoulder blades together as you drop your chest down and then moving them apart as you round up. And make sure you go both ways. Nice big breath. From here, downward facing dog, strong hands and feet. You really like, it's good to get strong in the feet and that'll keep the strength moving all the way up into the legs and then walk your hands back, forward fold. You can grab your elbows or fingertips on the floor. Just let your spine dangle, head dangle. Skin on your face heavy. And walk it forward, down dog. Nice big inhale. Exhale, plank. Come all the way down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Right leg up, inhale. Spread the toes. Exhale, step through to a lunge, kind of wide. So take the back knee down, Lizard. You'll take that um, front foot, right foot, way over to the edge of the mat. Lift the toes and roll onto the outer edge of the foot and you're widening the knee to the side. And then exhale, shift the hips back, half splits. Spread the toes, point and flex. Try not to lock your knee here. Inhale, back to lunge. Then take the arms up, big breath. Side bend over to the right. And then into a twist. So you hook your elbow over the thigh if you can and do prayer hands. You can also make it into a modified twist with that left hand under the shoulder, kind of wider. And then we'll switch sides. Inhale, down dog. Left leg up, big breath, spread the toes. Maybe circle the ankle. Exhale, low lunge. And then hands on the inside under your chest. Lift the left toes. So that'll help you stay strong in your ankle as you roll into the outer edge of the foot and widen the knee. Wiggle in the hips. And then shift it back. Half splits. Point and flex. Bowing in. And bring it back to a lunge, arms up, inhale, and then side bend. So you pull your wrist over to the side and then keep going, hook it into a twist. Hook that elbow over the thigh, prayer hands. Keep the leg strong and your belly strong, lean back. Carefully unwind, step forward, forward fold. Inhale halfway, exhale, bow in. Bend the knees a lot and roll to standing. And then big shoulder rolls. Go as big as you can. Get that full range of motion in the shoulders. And then forward. I like to do one at a time when I go forward. And then we'll play with balance. Tree pose. Spread the toes. Get really strong in your, uh, let's see, I'll mirror you, your right foot. And the left leg's coming up to the sky up to your thigh. And then I'm just playing with some variations with the arms, eagle arms. Take one arm under, really squeeze the forearms. Sweep. 
side bend that will challenge your balance. And second side, bring that foot to the inner thigh if you can, and if not, it's on the shin or even on your ankle. You don't want to go on top of the knee. And then play with eagle arms, other arm underneath. And then side bend towards the top leg. Goddess pose from here. Take those toes out, heels in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus arms as you widen the knees. Then a little sway in the hips. And then triangle pose. So turn your left, turn your right toes out. Bring the hand to the shin and then reach that top arm forward towards the, towards your, past your ear. And then from there, all the way up and back, reverse warrior. Bend the front knee as you reach back. Right into second side. Hand on your shin or a block. Again, this is morning practice. Don't feel like you have to go to your fullest pose. Reach the top arm forward past your ear. Inhale up and back, reverse warrior. So you're bending the knee as you reach back. And just slowly bring yourself down to the floor. Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees apart. Bow in, sway. Janu Shirshasana, so one leg bent, the other leg is straight. And bow over that straight leg, and you can take it more into a twist. So you're twisting your belly over the straight leg. And switch sides. And then just a simple twist here. Cross leg. Twist. Both ways. And come onto your back. Both knees in. And over to the side. Twisting again here. Shoulders heavy, big belly breath, relax your face. Use your inhale to bring the legs up through center, exhale, twist. Set up for bridge pose, feet down to the floor. And then lift the hips, snuggle the shoulders under the heart as much as you can. If you can, you interlace fingers or hands can be shoulder width apart. From here, Shavasana, bring the hips down, stretch the legs long, nice big breath in. Exhale, relax fingers and toes. Staying here as long as you can. And that's the end of day six. Tomorrow you are going to work on your own. You're going to make up your own routine and share it in the group. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.